Facts about every zombie in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be sharing a fact about every zombie in Plants vs. Zombies 2. The last part of this series, we talk about the ancient Egypt zombie up to pirate seas, so let's just continue. But before we start, my friend Sunflower is asking you to subscribe. Please click that subscribe button. It's free, and it will help me a lot. Um, at my last video we stopped at Imp Cannon Zombie, so next is Pirate Captain Zombie. The Pirate Captain Zombie is one of the zombies in PVZ2 that has a unique eating animation. Instead of just eating the plant normally, he will raise its hook up and down, rather than eat a plant like a regular zombie. When it comes to toughness, the Pirate Captain Zombie has something. Although the Conehead Zombie still has a little advantage, its health levels are almost identical to Conehead Zombie. Therefore, it's essential to approach the Pirate Captain Zombie as you would a Conehead. Relying just on a pea shooter may not be a good idea. Because it can also summon a zombie parrot that can take your plant out of the lawn. Whee! Now talking about zombie parrot. This is somewhat similar to the fact about imp. You see, a zombie parrot is just a small zombie that can steal plants, like Bungie did in the first game. If you look closely at its health, it is literally tougher than a regular zombie, even though it is smaller. Oh, I almost forgot the rally zombies. Well rally zombies and flag zombies don't have any difference at all. Rally zombie is just an enhanced version of it. You can't actually tell if there is a rally zombie in a level. Because you cannot see it in the seed selection screen. Moving on into Wild West Zombies. The first special zombie we can encounter is Prospector Zombie. At the very first level of Wild West, you can get a Split P, a very common counter to Prospector Zombie. Well, we all know that Prospector Zombies can jump at the first column of the lawn. Did you know? Prospector Zombie is immune to any damage the moment he detonates his dynamite. It's like when a plant is under the plant food effect. He can also bypass lawnmower if timed correctly, in this case, he will still reach the first column and walk backward. Huh? Another thing is, if he gets hypnotized before his dynamite goes off, he will still go to the leftmost column of the lawn. The second zombie is the Pianist Zombie. Pianist Zombies can cause cowboy zombies to dance and switch lane. If any plant that can knock Pianist Zombie back, his music will reset. This also applies to Power Toss. It was later fixed in an unknown update. Also, before the 2.1 update, Pianist Zombie could be defeated by the Chili Bean, because the crushing mechanic is basically a high damage eating attack, therefore it is still counted as a bite. When killed by any plant deals electric damage such as Lightning Reed, Pianist Zombie dies by electrocution just as a normal zombie does, but the piano disappears. Which is odd. Lastly, Pianist Zombie can crush a plant directly behind a slider tile he needs. So, it means that the hitbox of this zombie is bigger than the regular zombie. Then we got Poncho Zombie. Poncho Zombie is one of the most annoying zombies in the game, the fact that you cannot see if it got a metal plate on it or not. Then that is how Magnet Shroom comes in. You see, even if you can't see Poncho Zombie's metal plate, Magnet Shroom can still attract the metal plate without hesitation. In the Almanac, Poncho Zombie does not wear his poncho. Denying the fact that its name is Poncho Zombie. If you think it's not true you can check it out yourself. Before the 2.4 update, a metal graded Poncho Zombie could survive a direct hit from a coconut cannon. But if a Poncho Zombie took a direct hit with its poncho still on, it will kill it whether it has a grate or not. This could suggest that its health was always assumed as 250 before the poncho was knocked off. 
which is patched on 2.4 update. Well, if this hasn't been fixed, then Coconut Cannon is the best counter to this zombie. Though Coconut Cannon is expensive, then just bring many sun-producing plant. Next is Chicken Wrangler Zombie. Chicken Wrangler Zombie can summon zombie chicken if damage enough. Even if he is going backwards under the effects of sweet potato or hot dates plant food, he still releases his chickens in the forward direction. If a chicken wrangler zombie is stunned by any plant, he will die without releasing any zombie chickens. If you see many chicken wrangler zombies in a level, you can also pick primal pea shooter because it can also kill chicken wrangler zombies without releasing any zombie chicken. Chicken Wrangler Zombie is referred as Chicken Farmer in the game's code. Now moving on to Zombie Chicken. I made a video about the fastest zombie. It was 7 months ago, and Zombie Chicken is the fastest among all the zombies in the game. About 0.46 seconds per tile. We can also make it a lot faster if the Chicken Zombie is under the Speed Potion effect. It can increase the speed of it by 150% if the three potions are consumed. See, that's a lot faster. Many of you are suggesting what will happen if I combine that, so that's it. Another thing, it's impossible for this zombie chicken to eat a hypnoshroom or impair. Even if there is a hundred zombie chicken in a lane they will all just die. Ay, 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 ay. Huh? This is also applied to any hypnotized zombie. And next is Zombie Bull. Zombie Bull is just a bull that have a ability to throw imp at the back of the plant he approaches. If you look closely at its eye, it will turn red if it's about to run. It remain red until it throws the imp that it's carrying. There was a bug which the zombie bull will launch its zombie bull rider when meeting an empty minecart, even though no plants are in it. It was fixed in the 2.3 update. And next is Rodeo Legend Zombie. Rodeo Legend Zombie can't pass through Infinite. And by that fact, Rodeo Legend Zombie can be infinitely stalled by this plant. The only explanation I can think of is, Rodeo Legend Zombie thinks that there is a plant in front of it so it will back off and repeat what it is doing. Additionally, it is possible for the bull to throw the imp directly into the player's house, causing the player to lose instantly. Unlike Zombie Bull, Rodeo Legend Zombie can be eaten by Toadstool. It is unknown if this is a glitch or not. If you think about it, Rodeo Legend Zombie is the upgraded version of Zombie Bull so it must be Zombie Bull who will be eaten and not Rodeo Legend Zombie. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. And see you on the next one.